Hey everyone, this is Parth Patel from P3 Studio and welcome to the fourth session of VMware ESXi training. In the last session, we covered the installation of VMware ESXi server. And now in this session, I'm going to show you how you're going to access your ESXi server using web interface. And what options do you get when you access your web interface? So let's get started. So first open your browser and enter the IP address of your ESXi host, in my case which is 192.168.43.100 if you have remembered the last session. You will notice that I have given the static address to my ESXi host. Now you are going to see this kind of a screen where you are seeing that your connection is not secure but don't worry about that, click at once and add exception. Now enter the username and password. When you will enter the ESX side web interface, you will see this kind of a dashboard where you are going to get uh, this kind of options. So let's take a look at this all one by one. On the left pane, as you can see that there is a navigator which can be expanded and uh, minimized by this button and the first tab is saying that it is host okay so when you click on this host you will see this kind of a dashboard on the right pane when you click on manage you will be able to see the manageable options for your ESXi host third option is for monitoring uh, you can monitor your CPU memory network or say disk usage you can change the color and so you understand that this is for monitoring purpose you can monitor your hardware events you can check the tasks that has been performed or you can take the logs or the notifications so third option is for monitoring and performance overview fourth option is for virtual machine then the storage and the networking. Don't worry about this three because we are going to have a separate session on this three. So now coming back onto the host. Uh, when you see uh, on the right side, you see the first option to get vCenter server, which means uh, if you click on this uh, option, you'll be redirected to the VMware portal where you can download the ESX, uh, ESXi vCenter server. Second option is to create or register a virtual machine. We will have this thing covered under our separate session on virtual machines, so don't worry about this thing. Third option is for shutdown, the fourth one is for reboot, and the fifth one is for refresh. So if you want to shut down your ESXi server or restart it, you can click on any of these options. And if you click on this refresh option, it will refresh your dash dashboard. The last option is for actions. Uh, in which you are able to see the create or register virtual machine, shut down reboot services, enter maintenance mode, lockdown mode, permissions, or generate support bundle. The same options you are going to see when you click on the host. You have to right click on this host and you will, see, you will be able to see the same options over here as well. Okay. On the top right side, you can see the CPU usage, memory usage, and storage usage. Below that, you can see your license notification that it is saying that your license will expire in 60 days. Well, it's evaluation copy, so I don't worry about that, but let's close that. And below that, I can see my hardware, what is the configuration of my ESXi, if high availability is configured or not, vMotion is supported or not, what is my system information like time, date, or you can also see the performance counter over here. Okay, this is showing me my storage. So, this is the dashboard that you are going to see, and at the bottom, it is saying me recent task, which means if I am performing any task like creating a virtual machine or a user. Or anything that is considered as a task it will appear at here this is the status uh, if it is completed or not okay so this was the home page that you're going to see when you log into the ESXi server 
when we go to the manage what options we get so manage first we here is the add one setting if you want to change any configurations from GUI then you can do it from here there are more than 1000 items over here second option is to configure auto start the third one is for swap memory the last one option is for time and date setting second tab is for hardware it is going to show you what kind of a hardware you have okay then the power management third one is for licensing you can see that my license key is 0000, 000, 000. You can allocate a license from here and it will show you the features that you get with your license see all the features that you are going to see it's just evaluation copy which will expire in 60 days but if you have the proper license key then you will be able to see from here refresh button is to refresh your licensing status the last one option is for also assigning or removing license then fourth option is for packages okay so what packages are installed on your ESXi server you can see that there are 123 items are right now installed you can install update from here okay you can refresh it then moving on to the services tab it is showing me the services that are running right now on my ESXi server for example the SNMPD it is not running on my ESXi server I can right click on here and click on start if I want to start it or I can use the policy filter option as well so if you want to manage the services on your ESXi server you need to go to this uh, this tab you can also do that same thing uh, of starting and stopping process from here as well action is also for starting and stopping so these three are the same options but still I'm going to show you that you can do this all things from here the last option is for security and users the acceptance level which means you are a VMware certified or VMware accepted or a community or a partner you can get this uh, that level of VIBs we're not going to deep dive in this right now so second option is for authentication you can join the domain if you have active directory environment in your organization then you can join the domain from here or you can use the smart card authentication as well third option is for certificates you can import a new certificate if you want to install any kind of a certificate on your ESXi server okay so this uh, tab is for certification management the fourth one is for users and the fifth one is for roles we are going to have these things covered in our virtual machine session when I'm going to show you what kind of roles and access rights you can assign to a user so don't worry about that uh, but still we are going to have take a look at this one uh, in users you have add user option where you can create a new user add it user remove the same one okay and roles you can have predefined roles which is saying that administrator read only anonymous no access view only so these are the roles that are defined by VMware ESXi I have not defined any of this one but still I can define if I want to that I have to give the role name we are going to have a deep discussion over here so don't worry about that uh, we can select any of this and create a new role then assign it to the user and it will be applied so don't worry about that uh, lockdown mode this one is for extra security layer if you want your ESXi server to be more secure you want it like uh, no user should change any properties of my ESXi server then you can configure it let's take a look at the settings the first one is disabled so by default it is disabled the second one is strict and the third one is the normal lockdown so what does this basically do is if you enable this lockdown mode then the normal user will not be able to change any settings of your ESXi server okay when you click on the virtual machines what options do we have then uh, if you click on virtual machines you get the option to create a register virtual machine to take a console of a virtual machine to power on power off suspend 
So these are the virtual machine related options that you are going to see when you are configuring a virtual machine. So don't worry about it. We have a separate session on that. Going on to the storage that you can see your local storage is here. What are the storage adapters you have attached to your server? What are the devices that you are using as a storage devices? You are going to see the storage related information in here. This one is the data store browser where you can see what is in your storage, what files or folders you have or what virtual machines you are having in your data store. You can view it by here. Last option is for networking. You can have the VM network and management network by default. You can add port group. You can create virtual switches, physical NICs, VM kernel NICs, TCP IP stacks, and last one is firewall rules. So this was the basic overview of the dashboard that you are going to have when you launch your ESXi server web interface. We're going to end the session here and in next session we are going to create virtual machines and we are going to play around the roles and users. So don't miss that session and if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.